Hello everyone, Nails of Norway are here <laughs> again and today I have lots of forms with me. These are just the ones that I have tried out on my Alena hand and if you have a practice hand, silicone hand especially, you know that forms do not stick on these. They, they will not stick. And um, of course, yes, I've seen other people use uh, different kinds of tapes and band-aid and so on. I uh, saw something clever on their page, kind of um, plastic wrapping around the nails. And I really wanted to try it out. I went into the site and I soon found out a little problem. Uh, I'm going to take these forms out of the way just to keep the focus of them. The tape itself, or, or the plastic and the heat gun, those items itself are not that pricey. But to get them here to my place on Earth in Norway, and also with shipping, taxes, and so on and so on, and the price suddenly jumped a lot. So I'm going to show you. Alena has come out with some really cool plastic wrapping around and then the form. Yeah, here you can see the plastic wrapping is on here. And I really, really wanted this. But I looked at the price. It says in Norwegian money here, but I guess it's about um, four dollar for a meter or about a little over no little under three feet of that plastic tape it's about four dollar and the heat gun uh, that cost about fifteen dollars and a total there was a little bit of a sale when I was go was in there and checked so my order came out to be 56 euro and uh, if it wasn't for the sale my total was about 60 dollar and then uh, they are shipping with DHL I know that they take a lot in shipping and they also take taxes uh, so, so I, my total will come up to 90 euro so 90 euro was a pretty steep price to pay for something that was not that expensive in the first place because I had to buy this from England and over to Norway and we have a distributor for Alena Hand in Norway but I'm not sure if she has them by now let me check a few moments later I know the distributor in Norway do not have these things in stock so I was thinking, hmm, maybe I can find something similar on AliExpress. <laughs> and boom, yeah, I found it. I was thinking, okay, what's, what is this? It's a plastic wrap that shrinks when you heat it up. So I just Googled or searched that on AliExpress and I found it. I found this little ad. And that was eight dollars and it was free shipping. It says free shipping here and it came with a little bit of add to Texas and so on so it ended up about ten dollars. And then I bought some wrapping. The ones from Alena is four centimeter or you can choose between three and four centimeter width uh, and um, you have that tape that you can peel off after I used it that's brilliant I wanted that too so I have this here I just do not have nails I'm already written on the sides here <laughs> so these are 70 centimeter size 70 centimeter and 4 centimeter in width this also came out to be about eight dollars and then 10 with taxes and so on and these were also free shipping and my total was then $21 and that is what I paid compared to $90 no, not $90 actually, 90 euro 
the euro and, and dollar is actually almost the same. So the difference is about 70 dollar or euro. So I got this heat gun. That is exactly the same as on Alena's page. So yay me <laughs> and everyone else. And this uh, plastic wrapping is 200 inside, so that means 50 centimeter more than from Alena. I will put the links down below for the ones that want to check that out on AliExpress. I am pretty sure and I can guarantee that I can get this on Amazon, on eBay and so on, because these are pretty standard things. So let me show you how everything works. The cord is quite short, so you need to have an extension cord if you do not have it close to your working place. I looked at Alena's um, page and they had the tape of starting here to here, but when I use my form the stickiness always starts right here. So I cut mine in half because that is about the size Alena also uses them. I then take the side that do not have the ripping thing on and I cut a little outlining or whatever, I don't, do not know the name for it, but I cut that out so that I get the uh, plastic wrapped all around this hands, cuticles and so on. So I put these in place like this and I'm going to show you the magic. It is actually not that hot either, so it is pretty easy to put on. I take this off because I cannot twist this because the cord is stuck. Let me see how I'm going to hold this so you can see it like this. Just cut off the one that gets outside the finger. So, next one. So it's pretty easy to to do. It's almost like a quite hot 
low dryer actually it is not that uh, much um, warmer so you can actually if you have a <laughs> blow dryer that is really hot you can probably use that as, as well the hands are finished for some forms and let's smoke it on and this is actually also just an old tile a little heavy one um, that that I had from my floor um, in the cellar and it is more than good enough for this weight of the hand that is also something I saved a lot of money on <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to get so much heat from Alena Han and my dear friend that do actually sell these um, Alena hands so go and check the sign nails.no out if you live in Norway she has the goodies for sure but she had not get, gotten this in sale yet so sorry Frida <laughs> I took a shortcut but that is why we do YouTube isn't it uh, so well then it's just to put on some forms and the thing about these <laughs> this hand is that I have not glued on the tips yet so I have one here this is the red iguana hand as you can see also comparison to the Alena hand this one is so believable it has actually blood veins and oh it is so beautiful this one kind of look a little bit dead <laughs> and this is the flexible one and this is the possible one this is the one with the springs inside so it's a lot heavier and this one feels very natural if I'm working on this hand these rest on top like this but this you have to bend to to get out of the way and <laughs> into place but it is pros and cons on every one of them here I have already put the forms on these are forms from Inel Kotor, Max Estrada and the thing that I was going to say about this hand is that I have glued down the, the tips here if you're going to work with forms uh, it will make it a lot easier for you to to place down the forms if you have glued down the tips because you have resistance underneath here so this is a lot easier to put on except that I have to bend these so I'm going to try to put them on uh, this hand I'm probably just going to wobble a lot more I'm not sure what what forms to use because I have uh, a lot of them and these are just some of them believe it, believe it or not but for you to see um, then it's better to use something that you you can see even though I would love to have used inside uh, I like to use these ones because they if you are if I'm going to have really long nails these keep the form and they have enough glue but I also love uh, NSI long nails I like these from Kirsty Miki the only thing is that uh, the window is so small that if you have a big nail bed it can be a problem but for me it's okay this one has from Mystique Nail uh, I do not have uh, enough glue I think I do not like it when my forms come undone when I'm working these here from Ugly Duckling are so sturdy and beautiful to have put on but they are a little bit sharp because they are very metallic like <laughs> so the, if you have sensible hyponychiums they can be irritating and Brill Girls uh, are, I love this, this one because you have stilettos and you have square and that is also a thing if you only want one you should go for stiletto and square lines these are a lot of aluminium in in them so these are a little bit more for advanced uh, users than beginners uh, these are also for Brillbird but these are more papery and thinner so these are great for the ones that want to use long nails that do not wrinkle that easy so I think I'm going to try some of the shorter ones these 
I used this a lot in the beginning of my career, <laughs> my years here, because it is easy to apply, but it do not have a lot of support on the sides here. I like a little bit extra support on the sides. I am so sorry, but my camera died on me. <laughs> I, I'm not sure quite where I was and what I was going to say and what I have said already but I was talking about different forms so these are great as a beginner for square nails I love this one it's harder to check for stiletto all these here has great glue and adhesion um, I would say that do not buy Aliexpress, Amazon, eBay forms when you're a beginner because um, they do not have enough glue, the cheap ones. So it's better to use uh, yeah, brands or, or people that ha has evolved their brands and, and things like that. So um, the, the, the one thing also is different are this curve. Is different from form to form. This you, can, you can see that this is quite extreme. Some people have deeper hypernychium than others, so you need to cut it into shape. You can see that this finger has quite a flat. Yeah, if I would have put this one on, on a client that had these fingers, if you can understand that this was free edge on top of that. <laughs> so this had to be cut into place. But if you go into a long Russian almond, for instance, you want to lift that form a little bit up. And that way they fit better on the center, but of course not on the side. So you have to cut the sides and that will also just compare to the angle of your form. So you need to cut your forms. There are no lazy way around it. If you just put this on without um, cutting the form at all. I'm going to show you on another form and what you end up creating then it will create a void here when that nail goes out it will be a nick here that will crack your nail and break your nail and you have a problem not put on a form like that and think that everything is okay you can also get a wide nail or you get a weak nail because you have no C curve if you are going to sculpt long nails you need a nice good C curve if you do not have that your nails will be very weak that is just law of physics <laughs> if you have a flat plank right out that plank will break if, if it's long enough but if you have a nice curve on it like for instance a C curve should have between 30 to 50 percent degree of a full circle short to medium nails can have shorter C curve but long nails should always have a good C curve that is why the aqueducts in from Rome is still standing because they were built up with the C underneath that is why you can have tunnels in the mountains that are C curved <laughs> but they have a huge mountain on top of them and that is why we have igloos they are curved like a half globe and no glue in between the ice blocks because all the ice blocks support each other when they are built up against each other the weight weight distribution is perfect from nature so that is why you can build a long, long, long nail, but you can also be build it thin well, if you have a strong C curve. Yes, I know a lot of you out there like a flat nail, but believe me, a flat nail do not always mean a thin nail. I have seen so many long flat nails that are thick. I would rather have a long nail with a C curve that are thin than a thick flat nail that breaks and lifts. So that's the lesson of the day. <laughs> uh, as you can see I have added NSI's long form here. I put it on like it was going to be a um, long stiletto because
because when you put down a form you should always go out from the mid bone of the furthest phalong and the finger. Find the center of the mid bone in your finger and your side wall should go parallel with that nail. If you push that parallel upwards this is a straight side wall and out. Not up and not down, straight out. That is what gives you a strong nail. So if you look at the nail bone here you go up and this is how long my um, stiletto will be. It is going to be straight out to here. This one is quite uh, thick so and also has a little bit of aluminium in it. So I do not need to use that tab because that would have been too much on sturdy forms like that. So you always open up that tab. Yes, you can if you place that down you will always have a ballerina or a stiletto shape but every finger has a different width they are different compared to each other so when you wrap this around and this is fixed in a position like that you will have a different angle for different finger the best way is to open this up and adjust the angle from the side view so I would say about there so then I just place it gently into place then I check if it's straight from the top no it's not I jumped way ahead of myself here actually <laughs> sorry before I check the angles you have to fit the form of course you look here you can see that I have cut this form on the side here this is so that this form will stay underneath the free edge because you were going to put product on top of that nail you want the product to go around your form not on top of the form and spread from one side to another that is why you cut your forms. So previously when it was all on the side walls you would have just spread it out and you would have a wide nail and a flat nail. But here now you can create a nice thinner C curve even though I'm going downwards with the form making a stiletto I will get a nice inner C curve. So the form needs to go out from the side walls and out and you need to have room enough to place enough product around here and if you want to taper it you taper it if you want to square you can use also a C curves I'm going to show you a picture tools that you can measure the width of the nail from this side to this side and you can use that to pinch the form around them to create a perfect square for instance and first you can if you have long forms you can place close this tab together but then after you have opened this one you go in and measure the width from sidewall to sidewall while keeping the form curved underneath the curve of the nail. Just lightly hold the form here and I need to cut this form here and here. So I need to f remember that. About 45 degree angle. Cut away that. This is so just stiff form that you cannot just cut nip here because it will not bend out. So then you can try again and see if this fits. I would say about there and make also sure that the underneath tabs need to connect if not you will get a crooked nail crooked form so then close them and squeeze them well underneath and 
Oh, well, I am talking about something that is quite passionate for me today. <laughs> so <laughs> I completely forget to check my camera. It shuts out on me all the time. So I was talking about the angles of the form. Well, on the next form I'm going to show you... I think I'm going to use one of these from NSI that are easier for beginners to use. And this is a lot thinner. So here you can use the, the sticky tab. But I like to put it on the sticky way out. Because if you want to narrow this, you would like the sides to stick together and not create a void so you get wide nails again, like I talked about earlier, if it's not cut out. And you can roll it a little bit if it feels like it's a little bit stiff. Roll it. And always measure the form so you can see from the lines where you want to cut. I need to cut it between these two lines in the corners here. You mark that either with a sharp pen or just in your memory. So place it underneath and check the side view. Check your client's side view so that you get it straight and parallel to the finger bone. So this is the finger bone and that line here should go actually follow the finger bone. And it does that. I see if it's straight. No, it's not again. So off it goes and just check again. When I pinched it, pinched it tight here and close this, it looks like this form is pointing a little bit too much up. But the, this nail blade is actually sloping downwards a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it, it does. So to get a straight nail you need the form to point up a little bit. If you have a downward pointing nail bed. So it's going up but I will get a straight nail with a good C curve on the medium to long nail here. So that is why I pinched it so that you get a really nice and thin nail with a good C-curve and it's strong and it's not wide and flat. So I think that is it. I have covered everything uh, upside down and sideways. So if you have followed all the way through, I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Hopefully you will see other videos from me. I will try to maybe make them a little bit more shorter, but also maybe a little bit more haul than earlier. And uh, just some swatches and, and some tips and tricks, of course, here and there. But and also follow my other social media if you want to. Here they are. I hope you have enjoyed this mess of a video. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope to see you again sooner than later. Thank you for watching everybody. Links are in the description box below. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.